Hello and welcome to Butterfly Transformations, getting you out of your cocoon and into your wings. Today, I am sharing with you what's happening at a more subtle level when you are attracting or experiencing chaos in your life. First, let me define what I mean by chaos. What I mean by chaos is a set of circumstances or experiences that seem to portray a certain pattern in your life that puts you in a mental and emotional space where you feel tired or you feel exhausted or you feel like you're constantly trying to come up for air. You feel like Murphy's Law all the time. What can go wrong will go wrong. You could be um, having negative interactions with people that you care about. You could be in a series of altercations on your job. You could be getting negative write-ups. You could be having financial issues. You could be experiencing some health issues. It could seem like every time you turn around, you're getting bad news. It's any series of experiences that are coinciding that are bringing you to a place where you feel frustrated and overwhelmed. What I'm here to help you to understand is oftentimes when we find ourselves in this space, the last thing we do, and quite frankly, the last thing we want to do is examine how we ourselves are playing a role in this creation meaning creating the chaos. It's very difficult to look at how we are creating our situation. But it's a necessity in order to pull yourself up out of the rabbit hole. You have to first understand that you got in the rabbit hole by way of your own way of being and living in the world. Whether you want to realize it or not, it's so important to accept responsibility for where you find yourself in your life. It is the biggest blessing on the planet and such a point of empowerment to be able to examine and to be able to accept how you are where you are because of where you're placing your energy. What we focus on expands. Number one, we all have things that happen in our lives that we would wish didn't happen. But when we perceive those situations negatively and we focus on the, the downfall of those situations and we fail to see the lessons in those situations, those situations become magnified and they um, create an energy. They take on a life of their own that actually creates more of the same. But even bigger than that is when we fail to see how what it is we're experiencing in our outer environment is a direct reflection of where we are internally. You experience chaos and confusion when your internal frequency mirrors that. When you cultivate anger, when you live in the past, when you feel powerless, when you um, uh, uh, walk around with a sense of entitlement or a sense that you are a victim and someone has done something to you, when you um, live in a paradigm that emphasizes your lack of control over what happens to you in your environment and you don't feel empowered, when you blame others for where you find yourself. These are all the kinds of um, states of being that contribute to bringing in more chaos into your life. When you have trouble, for example, getting along with other people because you spend your time criticizing and judging other people, you can expect to have the kinds of relationships and the kinds of interactions with people that will be less than pleasing. When you blame other people for where you find yourself instead of taking responsibility for the part that you played in it and instead of worrying about them, worrying about where you are, then you're going to find yourself in situations where you're angry at people where you're sending negative energy, where you are, instead of focusing on how to change your situation and how to learn from your experience, you're actually wasting time nurturing the negative feelings that bring more of that into your environment. 
when you raise your vibration to a certain frequency, you cannot even experience the kind of crazation that a lot of people experience on a regular basis. The same way a person who is thinking at a survival level can't manifest three, four, five thousand dollars is the same because it's just out of reach to them. They don't see that it's possible and it becomes impossible because they don't believe that it's possible. They can't experience it. That's the same way that a person who's at a certain frequency can't even comprehend, understand, see, feel, touch, or experience anything that is below that particular vibration. It is mathematically and physically, according to the laws of the universe, impossible. So by the same token, you have to understand that what it is that you're experiencing in your outer world, the interactions that you're having with people, the fact that your car is always breaking down and you're on the side of the road and you can't pay your bills or you're feeling frustrated or somebody's doing you wrong or you feel taken advantage of or you got pulled over by the police or something else is going on at work. It's important that you really, really, really take a close look at where your default vibration is and that you really begin to understand that you are a conscious creator and that you are creating those experiences by sending out a vibration that matches up to the frequency of chaos and confusion. If you want to begin to clear some of that out of your energetic space, you have to begin to bring yourself into a state of peace and calm. You have to begin to increase the love energy that you bring into your life. You have to begin to become more grateful for the gift of life and all the wonders and beauties of creation. You have to begin to cultivate a state of mind that is conducive to your overall health and wellness. You have to begin to understand that in order to change your outer world, you must first change your inner world. So the, 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 the change and the transformation starts within. Never look at the state of chaos that you may feel you are in as insurmountable. But by the same token, never look at the state of chaos that you find yourself in as something that is happening from outside of yourself affecting you. Know that whatever you experience has to do with your state of mind, your state of energy, your attitude, the way you perceive your life, the way you react to situations, the kind of self-talk and the inner dialogue that you have. All of those things are the direct cause of what you're manifesting in your outer world. So if you don't like what you're manifesting in your outer world, become more attuned to the energy of your inner world and start to begin to shift the dynamics of what you're thinking about, how you're feeling about your life. Practice meditation. Develop an attitude of gratitude. Begin to heal those areas of your life that are giving you pain. Start to dream again. Start to get in touch with the deeper parts of who you are. Get in touch with your passions and your purpose so that you can feel more creative. Start to learn about the human energy field. Start to study more about the chakras. Start to study more about neuroscience and the ways in which science Today, scientific research has given us empirical evidence about how we are actually consciously creating not only our bodies, we're creating our reality and everything that we see in our outer world. Know that, again, if you're experiencing anything other than a state of abundance in your life, that you're going to have to change your default vibration and you start that with going within. You start doing that by going within, not looking at your outer world and blaming others, blaming events, blaming situations for why you feel the way you feel or what's happening in your life. When you start to feel uneasy 
about life and you start to feel as though you're in a state of chaos and you're aware of that, it's a perfect opportunity to begin to shift your level of awareness. It can actually be one of the biggest blessings that you have experienced in a long time because what it's saying is it's time for you to grow. It's time for you to go to the next level. It's time for you to release your attachment to a victim consciousness and begin to look at yourself as the creator of the experience that you're going to have. You're with Tunisia Ali of Butterfly Transformations. I have enjoyed being with you on this lovely, wonderful, light-filled day. I hope that you are being prosperous. I wish you abundance, peace, calm, healing, and happiness. Lots of love, energy coming your way. You can reach me at ButterflyTransformations.com or Hidaya Reiki.com. H I D A Y A H R E I K I. Have a beautiful, wonderful day.